Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. So our fellow HNI members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, the repentance and success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan and he may be stopped whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hans Inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false in accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization will. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius X, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the part of everyone, all organizations, and all the people who finally work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
the the worst we picked the bunny into covid 19 this is Ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to One Inclusion Live Weekend Sunday Edition. Today is Sunday, July 4, 2021. I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Inclurajo and Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. To start off our show this afternoon, here now is our daily verse for today from John chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commands. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. I'm <laughs> 
Welcome back to One Inclusion Live Weekend Sunday Edition. Hi everyone, good day to all of you. This is my pre-recorded presentation proper for One Inclusion Live Weekend Sunday Edition. Today is Sunday, July 4, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi from Hansen Inclusion, Philippines. In this pre-recorded presentation proper, we will discuss to you about the win-win of disability inclusion. Globally, there are over 1 billion people with disabilities. They are now more active in our society than ever before. Yet, Employment rates are low and many barriers to work still exist. Everybody gains from disability inclusion. For the 1 billion women and men with disabilities, inclusion in the labor market and in society in general requires the breaking down of existing barriers. Companies have greater opportunities than ever before to bring in people with disabilities as customers and clients, but also as employees and managers. By including people with disabilities, companies, individuals, and society at large all win. What are the benefits of inclusive workplaces? First of all, the benefits of inclusive workplaces are the following. First, access to talent by focusing on skills rather than stereotypes you access an untapped pool of talent increase innovation employees with diverse experiences have different approaches to problem solving increase engagement and retention employees who feel included have higher levels of loyalty and enthusiasm. Better reputation. Customers value companies that show a real commitment towards inclusion. Benefits for everyone. Everyone benefits from an inclusive workplace, not just those with a disability. Get commitment from the top. Disability inclusion needs top-level backing if it's going to become company policy. A statement from the chief executive officer can be incredibly powerful. So make sure it's seen by all employees, shareholders, and stakeholders. Remove recruitment barriers. Analyze every step of your recruitment process to make sure there are no barriers for people with disabilities and that everyone involved is properly trained. 
adverts for jobs and apprenticeships should also make it clear that you will provide reasonable adjustments for interviews and the job itself if needed. Make yourself more accessible. An accessibility audit of your company is a good way to start making your premises and services more accessible. Make sure a new construction work complies with accessibility standards and is part of your occupational health and safety plans. Think flexibly about individual needs. You should be prepared to make reasonable adjustments to the workplace. These could include modifying machinery and equipment or the content of the job itself. You might also need to adjust working hours, work organization, and the work environment. Get support from others. Lots of organizations out there can provide support with job matching, disability awareness training or expertise on accessibility or on-the-job support. Consider joining National Business and Disability Networks or Employers Federations. Peer support is very helpful. Work on becoming welcoming. Or rather, work on being welcoming. Disability awareness training makes employees more confident about communicating with disabled people and your working environment more welcoming as a result. Disability awareness should also be included in all diversity training. Bear in mind that persons with disabilities are a heterogeneous group, including with regard to gender identity, ethnic diversity, and sexual orientation. Taking disability inclusion further. Prove you're committed to disability inclusion by making it company policy. This can be a specific policy or the inclusion of disability as part of more general policies on anti-discrimination, diversity, or human rights. Employing disabled workers is just the first step. As for all employees, they need to make sure disabled employees have access to all training and career progression activities. Confidential staff satisfaction surveys are a good way to check how employees with disabilities are doing compared to non-disabled colleagues. This aggregation of data by sex will help identify different impacts on women with disabilities as compared to men with disabilities. Someone in your business could acquire a disability or mental health condition while working for you. A good disability management or return to work program can reduce absenteeism rates and turnover of staff. There are a lot of organizations that can help you establish programs like this. Large companies in particular can contribute to disability inclusion by asking their suppliers to comply with disability legislation. We can also explore buying products and services from businesses that promote the employment of persons with disabilities and have disability inclusion practices in place. Many large companies have employee networks and some have disabled employee networks, including both disabled and not disabled employees. These networks can be a valuable resource for promoting disability inclusion. So, as previously mentioned in our topics in the past few months about workforce for PWDs, in the Philippines, we have two organizations. First is Autism Society Philippines, and the second is Project Inclusion Network. Autism Society Philippines is a pioneer PWD organization in Kamunin, Quezon City that they do hire employees as well through the Autism OK Philippines. Aside from Autism Society Philippines, we have Project Inclusion Network of Unilab Foundation. And the purpose of this is to have more 
job opportunities for persons with disabilities as well. Make sure everyone knows about your inclusion initiatives. Use your website, newsletters, and other channels to shout about your achievements, including your corporate sustainability report if you publish one. Making it easier for companies to hire people with disabilities. In many countries, companies that are willing to employ persons with disabilities encounter barriers which often make it almost impossible to provide jobs to disabled people. Finally, inclusion is everyone's responsibility. There are lots of ways to promote inclusion in the workplace. Smart companies have already started and are enjoying more successful and sustainable businesses as a result. Many of these shared experiences with other companies so they too can become more diverse. At the same time, there is a role for non-business stakeholders to create a more enabling environment for disability inclusion. After all, making the workplace more inclusive is everyone's responsibility. In summary, increasingly, private enterprises around the world recognize persons with disabilities as valued employees who bring their diverse skills and talents to the workplace. Once businesses have understood how to eliminate barriers and to enable persons with disabilities to bring their full professional potential to work, they have a comparative advantage over those companies who have not yet done so. Thus, companies benefit from the inclusion of persons with disabilities and so do disabled people themselves, a win-win situation. And that's the end of our pre-recorded topic proper. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're done with our topic proper this afternoon. Let us now move on to our announcement. We have some announcements in store for you guys, mga ka HNI. First of all, we have our products for sale at the Hands in Inclusion online shop. If you want to purchase the tote bags, here are the following prices. If you want the picture without text, the sizes range from small, medium, and large, and prices range from 220 pesos to 260 pesos. If you want the Picture in the front with text at the back. Sizes range from small, medium, and, and large. And prices range from 270 pesos to 310 pesos. We also have our Bagong Tapang t-shirts. Um, the sizes range from extra small to triple XL. And prices range from 400 pesos to 450 pesos. And the three colors available are white, blue, and red. We also have another One Inclusion Nation t-shirts. There are five colors available, white, black, blue, yellow, and red. Sizes range from extra small to quad extra large. Prices range from 400 pesos to 470 pesos. For the first time, Hansen Inclusion Philippines will sell digital artworks made by its own artists. The sizes are range from 8 by 10 inches to 16 by 20 inches and prices range from 600 pesos to 1,750 pesos. If you want the acrylic glass but it's optional, you have to pay an additional 175 pesos to 500 peso charge. But wait, there's more. We have our Hanson Inclusion stickers. We include RES, 250 pesos. Inibig ko ang mga Pinoy PWDs, 150 pesos. How can we pay? Well, first of all, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from GCash and our PayMaya. On this number, flash in your screen, 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. We're also accepting payments from Palawan Pawn Shop and Cebuana Luillier. 
but you need to message the Hanson Inclusion Facebook page. How will your orders be delivered to you? We will deliver your ordered products via our courier providers. In areas in Mega Manila or the NCR Plus, it will deliver to you via Tok Tok, Lala Move, Gogo Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines. And the rest of the country, it will deliver to you nationwide via LBC. Do you want to donate to Hansen Inclusion? Well, it will be appreciated for you guys to donate to Hansen Inclusion. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. Do your part in donating hands and inclusion and we'll be appreciating for you guys to donate hands and inclusion as well. You may do so by donating hands and inclusion via GCash and or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen, 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. We also have our fundraising project, Piso Para Sa Inclusion. So what is Piso Para Sa Inclusion? First of all, Piso Para Sa Inclusion is an on is a rather a fundraising project for Hanson Inclusion Philippines. The purpose of this is the per rather the purpose of this fundraising project are the following: for the PWDs who are less fortunate and unemployed due to the trying time or the difficult time and also for Hansen Inclusion to be a formal non-government organization and its expenses and in other words the formality of Hansen Inclusion as well. So our goal is for every one peso you can help persons with disabilities and Hansen Inclusion for its project and expenses in the future. So how can you do this? Well, first of all, if you want to do this via coin bank, put some one peso coins in either a recycled container or in a coin bank. If either recycled container or coin bank is full and heavy, message the Hands in Inclusion Philippines via Facebook for its deposit as well. Also, if you want to donate via GCash, send any amount via GCash number 0917-701-9684. Send your proof of donation via handsin.inclusion at gmail.com on the subject of piece of our inclusion dash gcash dash your name. So, guys, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from Hands in Inclusion online shop. Please uh, don't forget also to donate to Hansen Inclusion and also for the Peace of Paris and Inclusion as well. Please help Hansen Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project. And also, we are aiming to raise funds for Hansen Inclusion Philippines. So for those who did this, you'll be glad you did. Every peso counts, guys. For those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to Hansen Inclusion. Hansen Inclusion is looking for the following. Volunteer researchers, captioners, and YouTube uploaders. If you're willing to work as a volunteer, if you have a laptop or a desktop and a strong and a reliable internet connection, if you're committed to work, if you have good attitude and character, and if you are a college graduate, then you may send your resume at handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. There are activities that are stored here in Best Buddies, Philippines. It is the Empowerment Series, a month full of Empowerment Series of sessions in partnership with the Atma Prema Wellbeing Group. The next event will be are the following. July 10, I Am Talented. July 17, I Am Brave. We will also have Wellness Wednesday on July 21. July 24, I Am Determined. And July 31, I Am Proud of Myself. If you're interested to join any of these events from July 10, 17, 21, 24, and 31, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram. 
send them a message and they will send you the registration form as well. If you want to follow Hands in Inclusion on Facebook, then Instagram, Kumu, and subscribe to our digital platform, which is YouTube, it will be appreciated for you guys to do this. Well, it will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. Please follow us on Facebook, Hands in Inclusion PH, Instagram, Hands in Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hands in Inclusion Philippines. In addition, you may want to follow Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Gaming, Inclu Nihan, and the online shop on Facebook. And the online shop as well. As, as I mentioned earlier, and also the Angry Gaming YouTube channel. So, for those who did this, thank you. Okay, it's half the time for our shout outs and greetings. For those who are celebrating their birthdays today, happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. Also, um, I would like to say good afternoon to the following. To my family, good afternoon. Hi! I would like to thank Hansen Inclusion, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benilde, Autism Strong Philippines, Project Inclusion Network, Association for Adults with Autism Philippines, A Child's Dream Foundation, Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, Angat PWD United, Special Olympics Philippines, the Guild of Thomas Science Predicators, Ateneo Speed, and the Psychological Society of Assumption. Thank you, Paul, and thank you, God, as well. To my high school and college friends, good afternoon, Paul, and thank you. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. Coming up later on editorial, we will discuss to you about empowering persons with disabilities. Find out in this later on editorial, later tonight at 7 p.m. with me, yours truly, Carlos Kanahashi, only here on Inclu Radio and it will be simulcast on the Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Okay. And that wraps up our episode for One Inclusion Live Weekend. Sunday edition for Sunday, July 4, 2021. I will be back again later tonight at 7 o'clock in the evening for editorial Sunday edition. On behalf of Inclu Radio and Hansen Inclusion Philippines, I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. Thank you and may the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain naman tayo ng Diyos ng buong may kapal. We include our yes. We at Hands in Inclusion include us and include each other. One inclusion forever. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. And we'll see you again later tonight at 7 p.m. today. Maraming salamat, magandang hapon at mabuhay pa tayong lahat. Maraming salamat sa inyong panunood at paalam. Bye-bye!